Hi everyone. Today we will discuss about the adjustment of tonicity by cryoscopic method. We will see this calculation with easy tricks. Isotonicity can be adjusted by various methods. In our previous video, we already discussed the sodium chloride equivalent method. But another important method is the cryoscopic method. So what is this cryoscopic method? This method involves the adjustment of tonicity by freezing point depression. Sodium chloride can produce the freezing point depression which is one of the colligative property which can be used to adjust the isotonicity of the solution. For example, 1% of the sodium chloride solution can produce the 0.58 of the freezing point depression whereas 0.9% of the sodium chloride produce the 0.52 of the freezing point depression. And already we know that 0.9% of the sodium chloride is isotonic with the body fluids. Now we can use uh, this relation. The 0.9% of sodium chloride produce the 0.52 of the freezing point depression. So we need to adjust the tonicity such that the freezing point depression of the solution is totally 0.52. So in order to do this, we have to calculate how much amount of the sodium chloride is required to produce the freezing point depression of 0.52. And we can have a simple formula like this W is equal to 0 0.52 minus A by 0.58. And when we use this simple formula, we will not get the correct value of the sodium chloride required and we may get the wrong value. So this formula is not valid for all types of uh, conditions. So today in this video, we will see one example how we can calculate and estimate the amount of the sodium chloride required by the cryoscopic method as well as we will see the simple formula in order to calculate this in easy way. Let us take one working example. How many grams of the sodium chloride is required to render 200 ml of 0.4% solution of a drug isotonic with blood? The freezing point depression of 1% solution of the drug is 0.42. If we see what is the data given, concentration of the drug solution is given as 0.4%. Volume is given as 200 ml and freezing point depression of 1% of the drug solution is given as 0.42. Always the freezing point depression is expressed in terms of 1% solution. So 1% of the drug solution is going to produce the 0.42. Then how much sodium chloride is required to adjust the isotonicity? And here you have to remember that the concentration of the drug solution in the sample is not 1%, it is 0.4%. But we have given the freezing point depression value of the 1% solution, which is equal to 0.42. So by using this data, we have to calculate the weight of the sodium chloride required. So let us go with the solution to this working example one. And for convenience, we can divide the solution into three steps. Step one involves the freezing point depression produced by the drug. We have to calculate how much amount of the freezing point depression is going to be produced by drug itself. And step two is the, the sodium chloride required to produce the isotonicity. So we have to calculate how much of the sodium chloride is required in order to produce the isotonicity for 1% of the solution or for, for 100 ml of the solution. Step three is the volume correction because the volume of the sample may not be 100 ml. So we have to correct the volume in order to get the real amount of the sodium chloride required to adjust the isotonicity. So let us go with the step one, the freezing point depression produced by the drug. 1% of the drug is having a freezing point depression of 0.42. This is given in the data. But what of the drug present in the sample is only 0.4%. So 1% of the drug you can produce a 0.42 of the freezing point depression. Then 0.4% of the drug will produce 0.42 by 1 into 0.4, which is nothing but 0.168. So freezing point depression of this 0.4% drug solution is 0.168, which can be considered as 0.17. So 0.17 of the freezing point depression is produced by the drug solution. Step 2. Step 2 is the sodium chloride required to produce the isotonicity. For isotonicity, already we have discussed that 0.9% of the sodium chloride is required, where the 0.9% of the sodium chloride produce a freezing point depression of 0.52. So the freezing point depression required for 100 ml of the solution is equal to 0.52 in order to maintain the isotonicity. 
but what are the freezing point depression produced by the drug solution is already we have calculated in the step one which is nothing but 0.17 then what are the freezing point depression required to be produced by addition of the sodium chloride is equal to 0.52 minus 0.17 which is nothing but 0.37 so we have to add the sodium chloride such that it produces a freezing point depression of 0.37 but we know that 0.58 of the freezing point depression is going to be produced by 1% of the sodium chloride then 0.37 of the freezing point depression is produced by how much amount of the sodium chloride so which is nothing but 1 by 0.58 into 0.37 so on calculating we will get the value as 0.64 grams so here it can also be represented as 0.64 percentage weight by volume which is nothing but 0.64 grams per 100 ml so whatever the value we have calculated this is for the 100 ml of the solution 0.64 grams of the sodium chloride is required for 100 ml in order to produce the isotonicity now step 3 step 3 is the volume correction for 100 ml of the drug solution we have already calculated that the sodium chloride required is the 0.64 grams but actually the volume of the sample is the 200 ml so for 200 ml of the drug solution it is 0.64 by 100 into 200 which is nothing but 1.28 grams so we have to add the 1.28 grams of the sodium chloride in order to produce the isotonic solution now let us go with a simple formula so the W, the amount of the sodium chloride required to be added is equal to 0.52 minus A into C by 0.58 into V by 100. Where the W is the weight of the sodium chloride required to be added and A is the freezing point depression of the 1% of the drug. It is the only, it is the 1% that is a standard value. And C is the concentration of the drug solution and V is the volume of the drug solution. So now let us the simple formula and if we see the data given the A is given as 0 0.42 0 0.42 of the freezing point depression is produced by 1% of the drug solution and concentration is given as 0.4% volume is given as 200 ml so by substituting these values in the equation W is equal to 0 0.52 minus 0 0.42 into 0 0.4 by 0.58 into 200 by 100. So on solving this, we will get the value as 1.28 grams. So directly we can get the value as 1.28 grams by substituting in this equation. And if suppose if we apply the simple formula like 0 0.52 minus A by 0 0.58, we will not get the correct answer. So in order to get the correct answer, we have to apply this formula where the formula should include the concentration as well as the volume of the drug solution. So in this way, we can easily calculate the amount of the sodium chloride required in order to adjust the isotonicity by cryoscopic method for any type of data given, whether the volume is 100 ml, 200 ml, 500 ml, and uh, the concentration of this drug solution may be either 1%, 0.5%, or any type of concentration. We can simply substitute in this equation and, and can get the correct answer. So that's about the cryoscopic method. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, share this video with your friends and post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.